Hello everyone, this is Kesa, GrabCAD Community Manager, and these are the release notes for GrabCAD Print 1.38. Here are the new updates that are coming with this new release. Preview the new PolyJet Model Settings Panel. If you have PolyJet printers, you can try out the new Model Settings Panel, which has improved design and the ability to save favorites. Go to File, Preferences, PolyJet, and select the checkbox to use the new PolyJet Model Settings Panel. Vero Ultra Clear now available for J750 and J735. The new Vero Ultra Clear material, introduced for the J850 and J835 in GrabCAD Print 1.36, is now available for the J750 and J735. Vero Ultra Clear simulates acrylic, achieving 95% light transmissions of that material, and is useful for prototypes of glass, clear polymers, or transparent packaging. Learn more about Vero Ultra Clear at Stratasys.com. Heads up about the Advanced PolyJet Slicer. In the March update of GrabCAD Print, the option to disable the Advanced PolyJet Slicer for J750 and J735 will no longer be available. VRML or OBJ Part Structure Preference for PolyJet. The default state of the VRML or OBJ Structure Preference has been changed from off to on. Override VRML or OBJ parts for PolyJet. A user can override VRML or OBJ parts with any of the available PolyJet assignments. If the new assignment does not work for the user, then the assignment can be restored back to the original one. The new feature is available via the right-click mouse button on the selected VRML or OBJ parts. Duran 410MF07 Updates Updated the set of infill patterns for Duran 410MF07 on Advanced FDM to include single dense, double dense, and sparse. Also, you can change the first layer of the material to be model material when printing models made of Duran 410MF07. Schedule View Fixes an issue where incorrect model names for Stratasys printers were displayed in the schedule view has been resolved. And that is all what we have for you today in GrabCAD Print 1.38. My name is Kesa, GrabCAD Community Manager. Thank you for watching.